It's a winner. It's magic. What's up, Cave Dwellers? I'm Gabe, and what is the color of night? I'm Darren, and it's sanguine, my brother. I'm Brandon, and I'm wrapped up like a deuce in the runner of the night. Okay, all right. I like your theme you got going here, Brandon, of uh, lyrics from random songs. Anyways, uh, let's get right into it by staying at our sponsor. That's RPG, RPGHiring.com. Make sure you check them out if you're looking for a new career. They're building people and changing lives. That's great. They are changing mm -hmm. lives. Yes, they are. Our lives. They By allowing happen. us to do really awesome things like the episode today. Brandon. Today we have a very special episode. Something we've never done before. The full episode is an interview, but these two people warrant a whole episode because they are titans of the comic book industry and the art world. It's Lucio Perillo and Carla Goen. And what's so special about this episode is not only, you know, are we going to be showing off some original art from them, we're going to be giving it away, and it's the first ever interview with them as a couple. They've never done an interview together, so you get to kind of get to see their dynamic and absolutely and all that. It's, so it's it's great. really interesting. It's really cool. Um, they kind of talk about some of their processes, but let's not talk about. It. Let's just let them talk about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Meet the Artists. This week we have two powerhouses of the comic book industry. We have Lucio Perillo and Carla Cohen joining us. Welcome to the cave, guys. Hi. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Hey, guys. All right, guys. Well, I guess the first question that I want to ask is there's a rich history of uh, fantasy style painters uh, doing album covers for rock artists like Kiss or Molly Hatchet. Uh, I just want to know is uh, if you could do a, a album cover for any rock band or artist, uh, who, who, who would it be? Mm. I'm, I'm sure, sure our answer will be different. Mm -hmm. So I let you go. No, no I let you go first. No, men's first. Okay. Um, I would say I would have liked if I was born like mentioned before. To do for the queens. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that's my answer. Okay, okay, that's, that's awesome. awesome. What about you? Okay, uh, actually, I, I already did something for uh, mm -hmm. for an important uh, band. But like for the it's a project. I just uh, did a cover that was released uh, probably like. Uh, one or two weeks ago, and it's, uh, you know, System of the Down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so John Dalmine is the drummer. Right. So now he's doing a great um, comic project, and uh, yeah, I did the cover uh, for, for this comic uh, like two weeks ago. So <laughs> it's like a, a new uh, news, it's a news. Uh, okay. What was was just online a uh, couple weeks ago. Okay, so, awesome. so it's a big so it's a big uh, uh, satisfaction for me because I'm a big big uh, fan of of the system of dance since uh, all my life. So uh, was very very uh, I was very proud to do this cover uh, for uh, for John. Yeah, that's awesome because there's a rich history of uh, painters doing album covers like Frank Rosetta and Boris Vallejo. So that's, that's real amazing. Um, I guess the next question is, uh, which, which technique do you use for painting? Is it, is it like the wet on wet technique, like Bob Ross or a more traditional style? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm a traditional painter. Uh, I, 
I mean, I, I used to work uh, all my life with the acrylics, and uh, so I grew up studying the, the technique, the traditional classic techniques from the old masters. And uh, I, I'm using the oil paintings uh, only uh, in the past five, six years, about, more or less. So now I'm painting 90% with oil or mixed techniques. And I use digital uh, just because it's a faster technique and because it uh, helped me to, to do more covers, to go faster, because uh, uh, I have a lot of requests every week, every month. You need to fit everything in your uh, schedule. So. Yeah. so traditional techniques is very slow and uh, you need a big, big size for the canvas. Uh, you need to wait that the, the, the oil get dry before going to the next layer. So it's, it's a slower technique. Digital, of course, is uh, very quick, very fast. And uh, so I'm uh, using digital to complete what I do traditional. So I do the oil painting uh, canvas, then I make a scan or a picture, and then I, I finish it with the digital, or sometimes I have to correct or change uh, something, then I use the digital. Uh, uh, like Photoshop or you know digital programs to uh, edit my my paintings. So uh, it's a good thing because you go faster and you can uh, you can uh, hit the deadline. You can produce more. You can go faster. But of course, uh, there is uh, a problem that when you do the the, the painting, the, the original art. Uh, uh, doesn't look exactly like the, the, the cover because when you when you go on, when you open the computer you start playing you start changing colors adding stuff zoom in make details yeah. stuff that you can't do on the original uh, painting because uh, you have to you, you can't zoom too much you can just go very close yeah. but... we're so used now to do like this for zooming on our screen but on an original art, you can do that. So, so it's, it's interesting because you can open Photoshop, you can zoom a lot in the eye of the little face like this and go make it this. Or you, can, you can enrich your, your painting using digital, but something that we, we both like add to our painting. But the actual original art is uh, pretty much every time traditional. So most of the time you see the color uh, Published and uh, you see the original art, they are a little bit different. So, uh, plus, there is often there are the art directors that they ask uh, for changes. changes, corrections. Maybe they want uh, uh, maybe they say, okay, send me the sky on the red sky. So, I don't go, I'm not gonna paint again on original art and waste another, another week. So, I just use Photoshop, change the sky, adding or maybe moving stuff. Uh, uh, or sometimes they ask me in three days uh, to have a background with a seed. So it's, it's, I can do it, but on a, a traditional technique, original art, uh, make you would need like a you need two months, two yeah. months, two, month, two, two, two weeks, three weeks. So of course I, I open Photoshop and I go with the digital uh, graphic pen. It's really quick, really fast. You, you can do yeah. it a couple of days. As I'm concerned, I generally do the background uh, digital. So because I'm not sure of what uh, colors I want in the background, so digital like makes uh, makes your choice easier. So if you don't like, you can cancel. While in a in an original art. What every choice you do, it's gonna take you like one day if you want to erase it. So, uh, yeah, like a midway uh, using all the tools we have, uh, we're lucky to have now, but uh, based on the traditional art. Yeah, honestly, in my personal opinion, um, I don't like too much digital. I get bored, really get bored. But I do because I must do because it's work. So if I if I if I could choose. I would just uh, do traditional paintings, traditional oil paintings. And maybe, you, maybe do just one or two in a month. Yeah. And uh, also, just relax and paint, but that's not a that's not job. So my job is working for uh, the, the, the companies and uh, the editors. So working for uh, publishers with, uh, you have a time, you have a deadlines, you have to run, uh, you have a schedule. Sometimes in two or three days, 
Uh, sometimes you have to work during the weekend, and uh, Monday they want to. Not sometimes. Weekend. We haven't got a weekend like since months. Uh, so it's it's another world. It's not uh, being a painter anymore, but it's being an illustrator, and uh, uh, this is the, the, the dealing with deadlines is our main like let's say uh, challenge. In the... Yeah. So yeah. Uh, most of the time. Uh, we we are not uh, happy at the end because we go. We would like to do to have like more time to do the exact thing that he is digital to go faster. We would like to have the time to make it on our traditional, uh, on our original art, but it's not possible because we're dealing with deadlines and. Uh, so you know, I'm a little bit jealous of the uh, guys that are, they are just painters. So they do what they want. Like and, and one. They do maybe like a portrait, or they do like just uh, one woman sitting on a sofa. Uh, for maybe, three months. Like, or, yeah, or maybe they just paint a uh, basket, basket of fruit for uh, like a month. A perfect fruit, uh, or just... You would get bored. Uh, no, you know, like, they, they can take uh, like a month, uh, relaxing, take a coffee and sleep, uh, maybe not like all the other people. <laughs> you don't drink coffee. And, uh, <laughs> but we, we sleep uh, very less uh, and we have to run. We don't have the time to find uh, like the models sometimes, to find reference. We just have to run, run. And uh, it's a little bit frustrating because at the end, personally, I'm not happy when I finish my, 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 my cover, my painting. I'm, I'm not happy enough because yeah, I, know I, could enough. Do better. I could do better with maybe two weeks more, but uh, it's impossible. So. But so for the moment, it's okay. It's, this is uh, what we have to do. And, uh, Maybe in a few years uh, we will get uh, upper. Maybe I, I don't know, but maybe I will just uh, paint the flowers <laughs> <laughs> or landscape. I don't know. I'm joking. I'm joking. And I'm joking because I love uh, painting uh, uh, comic characters. Or you can paint myself for one year. I think you will not like appreciate me anymore. You can do like one single portrait for a year. All right, guys, I guess the next question is, what, what brand or brands of paint do you like to use? Uh, uh, it's very, it very depends because we're experimenting continuously. Like, we're not, like, sticking to one brand and do a, only I need that brush to make that painting. Uh, also because we travel a lot, so we're going to different uh, art supply stores and sometimes we don't find the right thing. The only thing is, like, we like, like, thick, uh, thick pigment, uh, colors and I use personally like Michael Arding, uh, Rembrandt, uh, Sennelier, um, yeah like all the best brand in all painting that you can see in the store we are using all of them like so um, that's we are like Williamsburg yeah Michael Arding. Like if you, see, if you see if you see if you see my basket of all my paint, like there is like four different red. But, or Roland. but yeah, I will, we, we usually we don't have one brand or Winsor Newton. So we, we usually in in uh, with the experience of uh, testing many different brands in the years. <coughs> we, <coughs> oh, <sorry>, come on, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, she's smoking in my face. And um, so we 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 see that. Uh, Maybe a brand has a great white, another brand has a great blue, yeah. or maybe another brand has a, the, like, like the green from Mussini. So we, we take different Yeah, but we, we, we don't like make a testing day, like we're going to use all the green and make a difference. Like we try on, a, on our actual work and we see. Uh, but if, if you tell me, like, are you the kind of artist that set your palette with those kind of colors? No, my palette, like, from one to another is never the same because I, 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 yeah, we keep changing, like, our colors, our brand. Sometimes if he, if he borrow me the, the black, I will use not black. Like, I'm not going to make a, any difference, like... Yeah, that was real interesting on all the different paints that you use. That's, that, that's real fascinating. Is... is is coming out with your own line of paint something that, that you've ever considered uh, coming out with? Well, we have a lot of projects that we would like to do, but I told you we are in lack of time. So maybe like a brand of colors, yeah, we love colors. Like it's, a, it's, a, it's the main... Uh, I mean, for me, it's because I love colors and I'm so, uh, and I'm so thrilled to paint every day. 
but like making my own bread like there is so many like good uh brand nowadays that you don't feel i mean personally i don't feel the need to make i need to make my perfect my perfect yellow order you know it's, it's not like unnecessary but uh, she told me like uh, with her project like i i, I better travel rather than making my own brand i can't believe like, well, i'm stressed of finding the right color that i want to make you know right All right, so next we're going to show some of the cards that you guys did for us to give away. Uh, I'm glad they make all the way through you, though. Of course, we had to pick a couple of cards for ourselves. So I'm going to kind of show off the cards that I picked out of the set. Uh, first off, I've, I've, I've got Lucio's card, which is Conan the Barbarian. Uh -huh. Big fan of uh, the fantasy genre, Conan and Vampirella and Red Sonia. And just did a phenomenal job. Uh, just, just, just amazing work. Next, uh, for Carla, uh, I picked the Harley Quinn, which is another amazing, unique piece. It, it really reminded me of sort of an Olivia uh, pinup style that, that, is really, that really just just hit me. And so I really, that really called out to me. I really like that one, so I'm just happy to have that in my collection. You, you picked the, the, the painter I, I'm loving most. Uh... Since I since I went to the comic industry, like Olivia is uh, was like a straight to my heart. Like I love her style, I love what she do, and uh, and yeah, she used a different technique, very mixed media, very watercolorish in the in the past. Um, so yeah, I really like her, and uh, she really inspired me. And, and yeah, that re that really reminded me of her style. Uh, so, so great job. That's with pencil though, because I'm uh, I'm more confident with rendering things with colors, with light and shadow, rather than sketching. Like some artists, you love their sketch, you love what they you love what they do with their uh, uh, with their uh, paint, uh, with their uh, pencil uh, hatching and everything. I'm more into the doing the same, but with painting directly. All right, now if you guys don't mind, we're gonna kind of lay out the cards and talk about them if you like and uh, show what our viewers can win. And guys, as far as characters, are, is there any characters that you guys are, have always wanted to do that you haven't got to do yet? Yes, uh, definitely Hellboy. He's one of my favorite guys, and uh, I, I wish I wish I can do it. Uh, I would I'd love to do some covers for Hellboy. I, I, I did it for myself in the past years just for fun, and uh, I love it. So I wish maybe one day to, to, to have this uh, honor. To, to make the uh, I'm not into the I'm not into the like the horror uh, character like uh, Venom, Hellboy. They are kind of like freaking me out. So I I, I would love to do a cover for Harley Quinn. Like she's still a villain, but she's kind of a yeah bad girl that I would love to to do a cover for. Okay, that was Lucio's cards. Now let's take a look at Carla's cards. Catwoman is uh, one of my favorite characters. All right, guys, are, are there any upcoming projects that you guys want to talk about? Uh, Lucio, I saw that you had a cover for Suicide, Suicide Squad coming out in August. Yes, I just saw the Suicide Squad cover uh, yesterday. So I, and I posted on my Instagram today. I think, it, yeah, I think August would be uh, safe. And for me, I have the, the full issue of Invincible Red Sonia that I will go from one to, to six. So the one is already out. 
Um, and then with Zenoscope too, I'm doing some uh, nice project with a pinup uh, kind of style that I really enjoy to do. And yeah, and then uh, DC covers coming out soon too. Do you guys enjoy traveling for different comic cons? Do you have anything scheduled or uh, upcoming that we can uh, talk about? Uh, for, for the, the moment, moment, we are just missing a lot to coming to the U.S. and uh, meet, meet the people in person and doing conventions. Uh, yeah, we hope we will be able to travel because we have like issue with vaccine here. Like we're not vaccinated uh, yet, so. Uh, we have to see like conditions and how they are gonna organize and uh, yeah, <coughs> all the organization like usually it's not like that easy to travel in US, but with that COVID situation we we're just like waiting for the moment, but we hope it will be like as soon as possible. Yeah, we really, we really really meet uh, American people, American friends, and uh, all, the, all the guys at the yeah. and uh, it, it's so fun. It's fun. Uh, meeting person, all, all the guys, all the fans. We, did, we didn't realize how much we, we like to be part of it until you miss yeah, it. Exactly. So we really miss it and uh, yeah. Uh, you know, when, when, you, when you're at the convention, it's really stressful. It really, we get really stressed. Yeah, you don't realize. We are really dead. So we just, we don't have, even the... the, the the, the, He's not saying even the night. Like, yeah, we are so tired and we just go to sleep. We don't even enjoy dinners and the party. So we just work, draw all day, and then we go to sleep. And so when you do that every month, twice a month, traveling, doing conventions, maybe you get really tired, really stressed. But uh, after a year that we don't do that, we are really sad yeah. because. Uh, we, we, we miss the best part of meeting the people, yeah. talking with, with all you guys that uh, um, appreciate uh, our, our art. Our art. So, yeah. you know, like being at home, just working without uh, having the... You, you don't have the feedback of uh, your, your fans. Feedback from the people. Like, I mean, oh, you really it's, nice. Like, it's nice to have people uh, writing uh, on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah, yeah but thanks it, that it exists. Yeah, but it's, there is a big difference to be there, to uh, meet the people in person and talk to them. So we really miss that. So we hope we can uh, start again traveling and the convention and exhibitions and uh, going around the USA and other countries. And we will appreciate it even more than before. Now that we realize that we like it's definitely what we are yeah, yeah. so happy to work uh, home all the months to then like uh, go to a convention and uh, and make the yeah you know when you're signing your books like live with people uh, uh, meeting uh, meeting fans meeting retailers say oh I get you to do a cover for us excuse me and like you, you meet like the, the direct contact like. Uh, Everything that should be like so normal, now it's uh, for us will be like, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're very chill about it. And I know it's important for you guys to travel because you, you know, you get to network with different comic shop owners and maybe get some covers. Uh, plus the comic cons, I, I know Lucio has, has gone to MegaCon at New York Comic Con a lot. It, yeah. with, with San Diego, it's our favorite comic con. Like Orlando and uh, San Diego is... Uh, our two best destination for doing a convention. Yeah. Yeah, my, my number one convention is San Diego. That's my number one is online. Since, since, since uh, how, probably like more than uh, 10, almost 15 years, uh, I used to go to San Diego and uh, I used to stay there like three months uh, surfing, yeah, uh, working uh, in San Diego, doing the conventions. Uh, staying and living in San Diego for months is, is amazing. So I love California and love San Diego. Uh, and, and the convention is uh, it's a great opportunity to, to be there, working there, uh, meet friends. So I really miss a lot going to California. Uh, but I, I also enjoy a lot all the other conventions, so New York, Chicago, Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can pick your favorite. Orlando. 
Nobody will. Yeah, so far, um, we had a lot of fun in uh, Orlando because the, the convention was great. Uh, we can go to, we can get to go to Disneyland and Universal, and Universal <laughs> Park. So that, that's why I'm loving more. That's right. Also, it's more like intimate, so like less people, mm, and less you, people. you can you can give like your fans a proper like time to to discuss and everything. While in New York, it's so crazy that you don't have even the, the time to like put your hats up, like you have to do some. I get all your books on the table because you have like all your day busy uh, on the table. While in Orlando, like you can have a you can have a chat. It's more like. A, I know you guys are ready to be able to travel again and, and go to these cons and meet the fans and, and sign stuff. Um, uh, we're real excited to have this artwork. You, you guys did an awesome job. Thank you. And we're super excited to be able to give this away to our fans uh, for free. It's, 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 just, it's just an honor to get these cards, and I really love the artwork that you guys did. Thank you. Um, We've been super happy to be part of uh, your show at Guest Cave. And uh, yeah, thank you for making us doing your cards. I hope uh, people will appreciate them. And, uh, and yeah. Thank you once again for coming by Gabe's Cave. We appreciate it. Thank you it. so much. Thank you very much. All right, hope you enjoyed that interview. Uh, amazing interview. Uh, uh, I just, I just want to get these my hands on these cards. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, they're crazy. Just, just. I want you to think about it. You're gonna get. You're gonna. You, you have the chance to win an original art card from Lucio Perillo, and. Or. Or. Not and. And. Oh yeah. Or. And a chance to win a card from Carla Cohen. That is crazy. These are such Insane. good cards. It's um, mental. It's. I'm not gonna say it. Okay. It is done mental. in pencils and signed. Carla actually went through the, the trouble of act, not only signing her, her image, but also signing the back of the card as well. Which is very nice. She signed on the front and the back. Um, great cards. Uh, all themed after things that they like. Yes, yeah. he kind of talked about in the interview that he would like to do Hellboy. That's one of the things he would like to do. Mm -hmm. Because he hasn't got to do that yet. Like so. officially, because he has done his own. Right, but, but he hasn't been on a comic. Yeah. He would like to do like a comic cover yeah. for Hellboy. So make it happen. Somebody. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so we'll go into the um, into the, the winners first, and then I guess there's not really a meet the artist segment, but we'll explain to you how this works. So uh, we'll jump right into some some giveaways. <laughs> Okay, let's let's give some cards away, and we're going to be giving away Peter Smith's cards. These are not Peter Smith's cards. Um, we're giving away Peter Smith's cards from last week's episode. We hope you liked them. We sh I sure did, and I really love doing the interview with Peter. They're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and give those away now. Some winners. It's magic. <laughs> Congratulations to the winners, and we love you. I'm, I hope you enjoy it because I, I really, if you didn't, I'm, I'm going to be mad because those are awesome cards, and I would enjoy them instead. And the loot box. Don't forget about the loot box. You're dead last, but we did not forget about you. But you're a winner. <clears throat> We're all winners here, except me and Gabe and Brandon because we don't actually get to keep these cards. Yeah. No. Well, like I said, we're going to go right into the, uh, I guess, the not necessarily the Meet the Artist segment this time, but we're going to talk about how you can win these and what we're actually going to do. So, just like normal, you click the link in the description, the giveaway is linked to the website, it takes you to the landing page, but instead of it listing your, instead of you listing your top five favorite cards, list 
three cards you like by Lucio and three cards you like by Carla, at, or at least your top three. At least your top three, if not more. You can list them in all. You can, you know, we'll have pictures up on the screen. You can list all of them in order how you like them. Um, but make sure that you at least list some from both, just in case it's taken. Because what we're going to do this time, we're actually going to give away three of Carla's cards and three of Lucio's cards this go around. Their original art is very hard to get, very sought after, and very expensive. And we took a lot of time and cost to get these cards from them, a lot of back and forth. And we're just we're just so happy to be able to give these cards away to you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and this is not going to be the only video we do that, so it will go on in the future as well. And we'll have other little random uh, giveaway w uh, with these cards as well. So, um, like I said, three and three, make sure you, you click the link and you get signed up. Make sure you fill out that whole thing with your address, your name, your your username, and specifically which cards you want. Because if you only list two cards and you're number one on the spot, or you're number three on the spot, and you only list two cards and both cards are picked, I'm going to pick for you, and I don't think you want to do that. So go ahead and list it's you know, not fun. List a good bit of cards there just so we'll know <laughs> which one to send you. For you. Okay. No, you really don't. And if you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification and leave a comment. But after that, let's thank our sponsors. Absolutely. RPG, RPGHiring.com, thank you. Make sure you check them out. They're pretty cool. They make it happen. They do make it happen. Make it happen. With cabin? I don't know. Or they do it. <laughs> All right, well, uh, any final thoughts on today's episode? Brandon. Amazing art. Awesome. Awesome art. Awesome art. That's, it's cool that we get to give this away. That's all yeah. I can say. Yes. It is cool. And I look forward to the future on who else we can work with to give away free stuff to you guys. Because, like I said, this all comes out of our pocket. Um, you know, thanks to the sponsor and, and everything. But this all comes out of our pocket. We don't we don't get anything from this other than just getting to to sit here and just look at ramble it. in front of you guys. So hopefully we get you to, enjoy we get it. to admire it before it goes to you. That's right. And ma make a cool collage book out of it eventually when we get around to it. So all right, Gabe, tell them what they want to hear. Bye. <laughs>